Hello Year 5 and 6, so you're with Mrs Clifford today and I'm going to give you a Math and Magic Challenge. So I like to use my maths knowledge and my skills to be able to trick my friends and family into thinking that I can read their minds. Now I know that I can definitely read your mind and I'm going to get you to do a little challenge today that hopefully you will be able to work out how I've read your mind and then you'll be able to use this trick on your friends and family and to convince them that you are a math and magician. Okay, so are we ready? Let's see. I'm going to see if I can read your mind. I think I can. Let's see if I can. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to think of a number between 1 and 10. Any number between 1 and 10? I want you to double that number. So times it by 2. I then want you to add 8 to that number. Then I want you to divide by 2. So I want you to halve the number you've got. Then I want to, you to subtract your original number. So whatever that first number was you thought of, I want you to subtract that from whatever you've got now. So take it away. I then want you to convert, posh word for change, your number to the letter of the alphabet. So if you've got the answer 1, I want you to change it to A. If you've got the answer 2, I want you to change it to B. 3 would be C and so on. So do that now. I'll give you a little bit of time. And I'm just going to go back over and make sure that we've done everything we needed to do. Okay, so the first thing I wanted you to do was think of a number between 1 and 10. I then wanted you to double it, so times it by 2. I then wanted you to add 8. I then wanted you to, to, to divide by 2. I then wanted you to subtract your original number from whatever number you had. And then I wanted you to convert, and we said that was just a posh word for change your number to the letter of the alphabet. So if your answer was 1, A, 2, B, and so on. Okay, hopefully we have all done that. There's one last little step before I can read your mind. I want you to have a look at this map, and I want you to write down a country starting with your letter. So I want you to have a look. I'll give you a minute or two just to have a look. Make sure you write down a country starting with your letter. And once you've got that, I want you to write down an animal starting with the second letter of your country. So write down an animal starting with the second letter of your country. Hope you've thought of one. And then I want you now to write down the colour of your animal. So write down the colour of your animal. And now I want you to repeat after me. Mathematic! Am I going to be able to read your mind? I'm 100% convinced I can, so let's see. Can I read your mind? What do you think? I think some of you are going, nah, she can't read my mind. Let's have a look. Was this your animal? Was it a grey elephant from Denmark? Of course it was. How did I do it? I want you to spend a little bit of time having a think about the maths behind this trick. Why did you come out with a grey elephant from Denmark and everybody else would have come out with a grey elephant from Denmark too? So hopefully you will be able to work out how I did it and how I was able to read your mind. So even if you didn't, even if you can't quite work it out, what would be really fun is if you use this little trick on your um, family and friends and it will convince them that you are a math magician. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope that you use this trick on some of your family and friends and I hope that you do spend a little bit of time trying to work out how on earth I did it.
enjoy. <laughs>